Welcome back to cup action at the city ground. Sandro Tonali has returned for Newcastle A. 10 months out, he's back. And I feel like tonight that is going to be the difference maker for Newcastle A. A real boost going into this game where the reality is, I think it's the worst case scenario for both teams. Second round of the Carabao Cup, neither team wanted to out. Much rather have a, a League 1, League 2 side where we can know full well that no matter who we're going to play, we're going to win this match. But this is a, a tricky game for Newcastle. I think it's a tricky game for Nottingham Forest as well. So we have to make sure, especially from the start of this season, we've had a bit of a, bit of a rocky start to Newcastle. need a convincing win, a bit of a confidence boost to get Newcastle back into it. Whereas Forest, with all due respect to them, I think their main goal this season is to survive. I don't think their squad depth is probably good enough to compete on all fronts. So, but then, I wouldn't say it's a free hit for Newcastle, but Forest has got their main focus on the league this season. Make sure they will be back again next year. I don't think they're going to go down, if you want my personal opinion. But tonight, Newcastle have got to make sure, I don't care how we play, just win the match but ideally it needs to be a convincing win I think Newcastle needs a confidence boost going into Tottenham on Sunday because despite our good record against them Tottenham is a hard game at St James's Park so we've got to have confidence going into that game tonight's a real opportunity to do that but the return of Sandro Tonali I am buzzing to be saying that This is Newcastle United's official fan zone for the match today. Fits just over a thousand people, but the popping, of course, a lot of people get the cautious down here, so there's not an awful amount of people in here, but it's a nice idea. Poor man stacks, some people might say, but in all honesty, it's a warehouse. Uh, you've got to open for fans in the match today, and I think the idea is it's to essentially have the away fans just here so you know they're not going to cause trouble elsewhere in the city. The, uh, have a TV there for the game. You do need a match ticket to come in here. I wasn't personally asked for a match ticket, but the idea is that fans who are attending the game and they get themselves down here. Bars there. Pints wise, you're looking at around five fifty, six pounds, so more or less the same as the stack. With plenty of bars available to come down for the game. Real good atmosphere. But yeah, not an awful amount of fans here due to the fact that a lot of people are busy going straight to the ground once they get down the court just about to pop inside the stadium now Sandro Tonali starts what a statement that is he is back he is ready to go and Newcastle got a quality team and while on the topic of the celebrations this video is sponsored by Football Prizes so over the next couple of weeks I do have a sponsor on the channel for Newcastle's matches and in this case you can get yourself a signed golden shirt if you want to get involved with it I'm going to stick the link down in the pinned comment and also the description there's other prizes available as well the likes of Eddie Howe, Armour One merchandise, which is also starting today, so you've got a chance to get yourselves on there, potentially win some merchandise. So, the options down there if you'd like to do so, but I'd like to thank Football Prizes once again for sponsoring this video. I worked with them before, uh, they're real sound to work with, so yeah, make sure to have a look for yourselves and see what you think. <laughs> Always like coming to Forest with sound atmosphere good set of fans be among so let's get inside the stadium now and let's prepare for the return of our hero
It does feel like a new sign. It feels like I've just watched the castle's big semi deal come in. But uh, I'm looking forward for him. It's, it's a big moment for him. I'm sure the fucking starting tonight is going to be up for him. You can just see there that's a good lineup. Real good lineup. There we are. What a start the level that is for us. Back in all them today to do well for us. Tonight, let's make sure we are amongst the teams left in. I made the game today. Oh, John. Shocking from Nottingham Forest. I mean, the long not even switched on. Uh, it's uh, probably should have scored the first chance. Rebound goes in. Don't know who it was there. It couldn't have been him, was it? It couldn't have been him. Seconds are, that is unbelievable. Newcastle's winning 1 0. Has it been the best half in the world? No. Has Sandy Hudson already made Newcastle a better team? Yes, I felt like he had. Especially for 15 20 minutes ago. Quite good going forward. Should have got a second goal in all honesty. I don't think balls have created much. But a couple of big chances from loose balls coming in the box. We haven't had anything actually directly taken on Nick Paul. It's just been a couple of loose little crosses that have, have went towards the back stick. Newcastle as a team have looked alright here. Yeah. Uh, disappointed with the Willock injury. Um, he's got a horrible injury at the front of Newcastle. We've got to see him out again. I think he's a bit concerning. But other than that, be a bit flash. We need a live drop for the second half. But so far, still good for Newcastle. Well, I did take a lot of weight, but I was. I mean, there's an open shot at the back post. It's, it's no longer yeah, good enough for us. We just switched off. I mean, a cracking strike, to be fair, from the Forest player. They're giving the large one now. Tell you what, if we, we score the next goal in this game, I will be absolutely <laughs> shouting out of them. But I wouldn't say the goal's been coming because I don't think the ball's created that much, but 
That's all just been so flat. Just flat. Much better, but we deserve a goal here. Come on, lads. Oh. Oh, finally, something on target. I mean, we, we have been so much better the last 20 minutes or so. I think we can deserve a goal here. I want to think we do. I'd be so, so disappointed if we don't get that second goal before the end of the game. I'm a bit nervous whenever I see a public shootout. So we can't be one. Come on. That's it. Go straight to pens. I can't believe we've got ourselves in this position. I felt Newcastle. I thought it was probably the best we've played so far this season towards the back end of the half an hour. Had all those chances, didn't take any. Felt like we're doing enough to win that game now, in all honesty. Um, wouldn't say we were amazing, but I thought we'd done enough. I am absolutely bricking it. Can't kind of believe we've got a shootout in the second round of the draw. How we we'll put ourselves in this position. If I was shooting first, we're down there end as well, which is not ideal for us. Still a game of composure, which team decides to turn up. Massive, massive moment this season for both teams. Quality pen there, nothing Paul could have done there. Alexander Isak stepping up, he's missed his last two pens in a row for Newcastle. And he's had a bit of a dodgy start of this season so far, so... Don't want to jinx it, but... Yeah, he really needs to score this and just get a bit of confidence in himself. But if I was going to put my house on someone scoring a pen for Newcastle, you would put it in that man. Scored here before from the spot. Yes, good pen. Not a, not a convincing pen, but it's enough to go in. Good composure there, all the fans behind them. So for Forest. I think this has to be the worst thing you can do as a football player, by the way. That long 100 yard walk or so. It's horrible. Steps up. In terms of composure, you don't get much more composed now. What an unbelievable pen. I've got the draw link shirt on today, so bought a bit of good luck. Go to up here, the mind game's not staying down the middle. Will have put them off. Good mind games in the goalkeeper there. He's almost so there was sucked your into going outside. That's not even a bad pen. That's actually in the corner. The goalkeeper has managed to dive the full length across. And now the pressure is on us. We need you here, Port. We need you. Oh, it's a, it's identical to the first pen. The ball just in the top corner. Port guesses. Right four times, but you just, just can't get there. One Brazilian's miss. Now the second one's going to step up. I feel, I feel sick watching this. Come on, Bruno. We need you. We need you now. That is a, that is a top pen. Yeah, come on. That's what I need. A bit of fire in this show. Let's keep the pressure on them. They still have to score there, friends. They still have to score. If they score this, it's sudden deaths and Newcastle need to, need to keep themselves in it. Come on, they've got to miss one. Oh, he's missed! Oh, we've been given the lifeline! 
That is so unlucky by him, my boy. What a pen that is. That is so unfortunate. We've been gifted a lifeline. If we score all, then, then it, it honestly is starting to go into our favour. Still hasn't necessarily changed anything unless Gordon scores this, but we have been gifted a lifeline. We still need to score. Still need to score this. Oh. I mean, you can't get much closer than that miss for Forrest. I mean, that is almost a perfect pen. Just a bit over, though. Now, Gordon. Need to take his moment. Yes! Come on! Come on! Now, the pressure is well and truly on Forrest now. It could have been... Could have been walking up to score the winning pen, but instead they're scoring this pen just to stay in it. Their strike has stepped up. He's missed a couple of big chances in the game. I mean, he really should have scored in the first half. I wonder if that's going to be lingering on his mind when he steps up for this. This could have potentially been the winning pen for Nottingham Forest, but now it's just it's just keeping themselves in the shot and keeping the pressure on us. Will that play a part? Come on, Pope. We need you, Pope. Yes! Oh, my God! That is one of the worst pens I've ever seen. What is that? Oh, my words. I think that miss has put him off early in the game. Eyes. Oh, you can just see how dejected that his look is. Oh, my God, that is a terrible pen. Oh, my words. So we've got Forest fans already, already heading for the exit. My God, the threw it away at Forest. Pope hasn't even saved a pen. Sean Longstead stepping up. Huge moment for him. Now, he's always been a bit of a scapegoat, so I really hope he does this for us. Yes! Come on! Come on! Get in there! Come on! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, they've cost themselves the shows. Folks have beat themselves there. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy for Sean Longstaff. He deserved that. He's already had some big balls for this club, but he deserves something like that. Oh, oh I'm, I was cracking myself there, I've got to be honest. We didn't forget about that earlier in the game. Oh, my God. Most have cost themselves that match there. <laughs> oh my god. See Wimbledon, I'll happily take that if we get it. Oh, it's a good draw. I yeah. see Wimbledon away. Oh, I certainly am happy with that. Oh my days. Oh, I would actually have that. I'm going straight to Hooters there. I'm going to celebrate down there. Perfect scenario. Wimbledon away in the next round of the Cowboy Cup. Finally, it may be our eight away game in the Rowan Cup competition sport it's a good one Wimbledon a ground that most have never been to before proper away game I can't wait for this when I surprisingly despite the, uh, despite the small stadium over 1800 tickets is for got in the last round so you'll assume Newcastle will get the same amount and you will not complain about that uh, it's a brilliant away draw and when I look at the fixtures Wolves, Wimbledon and Fulham away in the same week which is the ideal perfect scenario for me a week down the country where all three of the matches easy to get to once I've settled in so I'm, I'm buzzing with that one two London games Wolves is on the same same line as well on the southwest side of the UK which is going to be ideal for me when I'm checking into the hotel but I'm, I'm happy with that no doubt about it, we should be beating Wimbledon with all due respect to them. Never an easy draw, and I think their fans will be up for it. But that's a good away draw. Proper old fashioned 
football match and I can't wait to get down there. But Newcastle I thought deserved it. I had a chance to speak to a lot of Newcastle fans afterwards and I, I, I've seen a bit of negativity from that game. I thought Newcastle had done enough to win that 90 minutes in my opinion. Uh, yes, of course, I think with the team put out, we have to win the game in 90 minutes. But I, I thought we were the better team today. Uh, Forrest, all they've done all game long was just put crosses into the box. I thought that was Newcastle's biggest problem today. We did not deal with loose balls inside the box. Every single cross either found a Nottingham Forest player's head or just bounced in the box. Newcastle never dealt with any crosses and that was our concern that game. That was the only thing Nottingham Forest were getting in the game. Newcastle created a lot in the second half. Have to, have to score some of the chances we're going to have to. But I thought that was the best we have played so far this season, which might not necessarily be... Uh, a massive point to make because I don't think we played that well in these games but that was better that was better Sandra Tonari is definitely being an impact in the game I thought when Joe Willett got injured that was a problem for Newcastle and that was perhaps the reason why we weren't great in the first half but the second half was much better that's 30 minutes so Newcastle gave it a real go and they should have scored had a lot of chances to score they didn't do that but we won on pens that's all I can say we won on pens all the pens I thought were great Joe looked me unlucky because I, I thought it was a cracking pen but the goalkeepers managed to play the mind game as well on them not the fault just throw the pens away and they just lost their heads and that's the real really important factor once you miss one pen then Forrest have got the pressure on them but Newcastle deserved it uh, if Forrest had won in pen tonight I thought that would have been almost a farce I, I did not think they deserved the win at all Newcastle were by far in my opinion the better team in that second half and we got the job done in the end and we are now playing Wimbledon the next round so despite this BS cup law with these European teams getting a, getting a free pass into the fourth round Newcastle did not draw any of the big teams which is good Wimbledon away though, we're going to the south end of London, but I'm not complaining about that, it's a great away game and it's going to be a fantastic week down south, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the week down south, it's going to be like a holiday going down to those games, but yeah, Strathfield International break is our next cup match, I can't wait for it. Ideal, finally a good cup draw that just benefit Newcastle, even though it's our eighth away match in a row.